Welcome to SNN. That was my Lego house. My brother still hasn't put it back together. Okay, Odessa, you're on the air. Okay, today is Thursday, September 4th, 2014. It's a sky day, which means start periods 1, 3, and 5. This first bit of news is about bus passes. There have been a few changes in the whole bus pass process. That's correct, Rose. Here's the thing. The main office can no longer just give you a bus note for the rest of the year to a bus stop, other, other than your assigned one. Got that right. For those of you who might be interested in obtaining an as-needed bus note, there is now a form. The forms are available in the main office. They look like this. Wait, that's not it. We can't find ex an example of the form. Again, stay tuned. When we find it, we'll show you. Bottom line, you have to plan ahead. Oh wait. oh, wait. Here it is. This is the form Mrs. Cruz just Mrs. Cruz just gave it to us. You get this in the main office. Exactly. Think about it. Let's say you want to go to the Jack, Will, and Rob Center. Or need to go to an after-school sitter on a regular basis. You need to have this filled out in advance. Does that take long? It may take as long as two weeks before approval will be given. Wow, that is a while. It's a big change. You can't just get it the same day. You have to plan ahead. Where are the forms? Forms are available in the main office. We were told they are also online, but we couldn't find them. So we'll do some research and get back to you on that. In the meantime, see Mrs. Cruz or Mrs. Button in the main office if you have questions. While we're on the topic of the main office, look at this. Form. No, form. This is where all the forms for anything can be found. Including forms for spirit wear. Fridays are spirit day around the ridge. Wear school colors or spirit wear. Look at these two hawks. They are wearing our school colors, navy blue, burgundy, and white, starting Friday tomorrow. News of a historical nature. On this date in 1888, a man by the name of George Eastman received a patent for his roll fill camera. I don't even understand that whole sentence. What does that mean? Roll film? Oh, wait, it's Throwback Thursday. Is this a throwback question? As a matter of fact, yes. Call 78293 and tell us the name of this man's invention. How could we even know the answer to this question? Five letters, and it starts with a K. His name is George Eastman, and what he's known for, well, photography. That reminds me, and we should remind you out there, that picture day is Tuesday. Teachers, we've been told that the picture packets are in your mailboxes. There are posters in the halls, but, if, but it would be even better if you jot it down in your planner. Ah, the planner. We, we have, have ours, ours, but do you have yours? Get your planner today in the main office. It's only $6, and there's this awesome calendar on the back with the whole school year. News from the LMC. Lots and lots of books are coming back, but starting tomorrow, items not returned will show up as charges. Good news. The charges vanish when you return your books. Ms. Pappas is begging. She doesn't want to hunt you down, so return those summer checkouts. It would be the responsible thing to do. That's very sky code aware. If you don't already know, when you get caught following sky code, you could get a ticket. Put your name on the ticket and you could win a prize during the week. Mr. Smith and Mr. Williams come on the air and they randomly draw a ticket and you could win the awesomest pencil in the world. A, a smencil! These ticket tubs are in the LMC just inside the door. Sport news. Cross country and football practice after school today. About our question today, George Eastman invented the Kodak camera. This camera revolutionized the photography industry, making photography something that anyone could enjoy. In 1889, Eastman applied for, the, for a patent 
for a celluloid camera, which became the basis of the moving pictures industry. We're obviously accustomed to having a camera in our phones, but there was a time when that whole idea would have been insane. And he was also a pretty generous guy, leaving more than $75 million after his death to various charities and organizations. Judging. Who won our phone in today? Congrats to um, Amelia? Amelia from Ms. Roberts' room. Kodak was the answer. A treat and fake cash coming your way. We leave you today with a thought from Mr. Eastman. The progress of the world depends almost entirely upon education. That's the news for Sky Ridge Middle School, where everybody belongs. This has been Odessa. <clears throat> Don't forget to be awesome. Follow the Sky Code. Be safe. Be respectful. And be responsible. This has been Odessa and Rose. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready? Begin. Begin.